You are what you consistently do. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. This episode of 7 Good Minutes is being brought to you by Audible, featuring the world's largest selection of audiobooks. Successful people have one thing in common. They read more. How do they find the time? With Audible. Get more books into your life. Start a 30-day trial with Audible today and your first audiobook is free. Cancel anytime and your books are yours to keep forever. To get started, just go to 7goodminutes.com slash audiobook. Today's audio is a brilliant compilation of speakers addressing the importance of self-discipline and consistency. Enjoy. Self-discipline separates people from success and not being successful. I've never met a person who was not successful that didn't have a great amount of self-discipline within their life. Self-discipline and being able to perform and being able to keep your life on schedule and being able to keep commitments and promises and meet deadlines is essential to success. Look, if you want to get rich, you want to be really successful. When I say rich, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about a rich life, freedom, time with family, choices, get to do what you want. See, this is what people do. They set a target. Remember when you were a kid and you set targets that were big, giant, had nothing to do with reason? They were giant, right? And then you had some difficulty getting to it and somebody said what? Dude, your goals are unrealistic. You need to drop your goals down and add 40 years and end up with nothing. Certainly not congruent with your potential. None of us can afford to have a life that is controlled by someone else or a life that is basically controlled by our emotions. I learned many years ago that there are two kinds of people. There's the type of person who says, I'm gonna wait till I feel like it before I do it. And then there's a person who says, I've got to do it so that I feel like it. One will never get anything done because they're still waiting to feel the moment to move. And the other person says, no, I need to move. And then I will begin to feel the moment. Most people have strategies available or they could get them or you could create them. But the problem is you got a story and your story is why it isn't working. And the story is I've tried everything. If you tried everything, you'd be fit. If you tried everything, you'd be profitable. There's always a story. And what I tell people is, you know, if you can just divorce the story of your limitation and marry the truth of your unlimited capacity, then the whole game changes. I would say to you that it's your duty, your obligation, and your responsibility to fulfill your potential and that that's actually what success is. Success is not money. The simplest thing is get crazily hungry for something. We all know when you get so hungry, so desirous, your brain starts coming up with answers. And then it's massive action, but effective execution, which is all modeling, which is I assume what this is about. Find the best example, compress the time. Let someone else take 20 years to figure it out. You do it in two weeks or two months. Even if you have no idea how to solve it, no idea how to get there, you'll be amazed at what you come up with. And what's interesting is our legacy, our past, anchors us to where we are today. And you have to let go of that. You truly have to let go of all the stuff in your past, what you thought you'd done, the infrastructure that you've built to let yourself go. We are not our feelings. We are not our patterns. Those are things we might identify with, but we're not that. And so when I see a pattern and it doesn't work, I don't think the person's broken. I don't think anybody's broken. I'm not here to fix people, but I am here to break up the patterns that don't work. I might be wrong in what I say, okay? I might be wrong in the things I do in my life and the business that I started. My family's told me not to start every business that I've been involved in, every one of them. Every one of them was a risk. Every one of them I had to take a chance. I remember my mom used to tell me, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'm like, mom, you wouldn't do anything. Well, you wouldn't do anything except be the mother, a great mother to five children. 
My mother wasn't an entrepreneur. She didn't have my dreams. Just because she's my mom doesn't mean she dreams like me. Would you agree? Okay. My mom was wrong about everything she told me not to do. Love my mom to death. Okay. Unbelievable friend of mine. She was wrong. I needed to do those things. Okay. Steve Jobs needed to build this phone. Would you agree? Did he help a lot of people? Did he make some money while he was doing it? $119 billion dollars in five years. Have the conversation with the person that's holding you back. The reason most people who are listening right now are not doing that thing is they're worried about the opinion of somebody, usually their mother, usually their father, and the reality is, is that your spouse may be the person holding you back and you have to have that conversation. We have to get to a place where you're doing you because the number one thing that scares the fuck out of me is regret. And you're gonna sit there at 72 and you're gonna say, I wish, I wish, I wish. Fulfillment is an art. What's gonna fulfill you is different than the other person next to you. You're not gonna learn that from anybody else. And you gotta find it because success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.